Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> yeah, we had to... We had to do that one more time because it didn't work the first time, bro. I don't know why it does that. I yeah. think it's like a personal punishment that YouTube does to us. Yeah, so if you don't basically... Every time we decide yeah, to start, start late. late or something. I guess it's but accountability. I'm think, <laughs> but I'm thinking if we start it like right away, then we should be fine. But uh, for some reason, it didn't do that. But um, yeah, man, um, we just uh, we just got off a uh, tag with Jimmy and... Um, I think I'm gonna like that. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna like it too. Um, if we learn the system even more, even though the camera thing shit is, is tweaking me the fuck out. Um, uh, if we um, <laughs> if we learn the the system more, I think we're, we'll be able to pick up more people um, from around the world and just feel that. get a get a um, interaction with them. And then, of course, maybe even do interviews. That'd be something different too. Um, but we'd probably have to keep like the phone very close or if questions come in, then we, we, we focus on that too. So, but that, that'd be different. But, um, yeah, man, how's, uh, how's, uh, your week been? You, you've been, uh, man, not being able to sleep. I noticed that. You think so? Mm -hmm. New angles look good. Snot dog. What's good, brother? Welcome. Welcome. Appreciate that. We also got, uh, what is it? These guys. Oh, the swivel. Yeah, we yeah. got some mic swivel, so you guys can finally hear us. Because I have a tendency to kind of move away from the mic. Yeah, but I don't know, you know why this uh, the, the camera's glitching. It's weird. What do you mean? You'll see. Is it? Yeah. Is it just on our end? No. Let's see. Oh, that's you. No, nah, that that's because you kept dropping that damn camera. No, but that's, I got that's punishment, bro. Punishment. No. Nah. You need to get a new cam. You know what? I think. Yeah, Jimmy. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? What's good, Jimmy? I, I definitely want to continue that uh, tutorial. Yeah. And definitely. I really do think it's because the camera fell multiple times, especially on the same spot. So it probably threw off the autofocus or whatever. Gotcha. It's fucking with something. I don't know. Maybe it, it'll it'll probably have like a reset. See, look what it just did. <laughs> like a camera reset oh that's tough yeah i think it's because the signal's throttling are you on the network with the phone yeah 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 i feel that i feel that yeah but it shouldn't matter though no because no, it, it's never done that before what the fuck are you doing elon <laughs> glitching. What are you doing, elon you're making me glitching look it. bad glitching it you're making me look bad yeah. remember, remember when i went on that whole tour last year talking mad shit we finally got starlink yep Cause you were pissed off that it, 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 it's uh it, we got it in September and then it took all the way to what March for us to come, uh to get it in of last year, and then I went through all that bullshit and mm -hmm. look look at it failing us now. Yep, yep, failing us now. Uh, Jimmy says we will on another day. Let's get time to get you used to the app. All right, for sure, for sure. I don't know how to move this emoji sender. Oh, cool. I could respond with emojis. That's actually the first time I actually tried something like that. Really? Yeah. You're a nerd. Oh, no. I got to sign in. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. See, I don't even know how to exit this now. I don't even know how to exit this. But yeah, man. Um, I don't know. It's been a weird week. Uh, There was a lot of things I was supposed to do before New Year's mm -hmm. that I didn't because of that whole insane event with my friend overseas mm -hmm. and i don't know that just kind of threw me out of whack i was supposed to release that whole compilation of my artworks from yeah. the previous year and then you know like do like a nice little feature like a recap yeah 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 shit. like you do every single year right like, like i do every single every year. artwork that you've created you'll basically create a collage of it and then right yeah right 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 
you know so that's what i wanted to do and i wanted to kind of take time sit down really like fuck with it work on it Mm -hmm. but that time came and went and i felt like i just had to do something yo question for you you sure it's not the frames because it wasn't doing it before. you think so you want me to yeah like adjust that i could definitely do that you can do that because that's that's like really bugging me all right all right so while that's going no but i get it because um and uh not to bring up uh names just because i know how youtube is sensitive uh, yeah sensitive to to certain things that we mm-hmm. we say like uh our sisters they have friends in the war-torn areas that are going on right now and mm-hmm. And it's just uh, they're not even um, able to sleep, too, because they're constantly nah, eating up the news. Stressful. But, it, yeah, it, it is stressful because it's like you want to do so much, but you can't. And the biggest issue is um, the only thing you can do here is just stress yourself out and then keep texting that, that person. Tough, it is. Dog. It is. And then they're, they're, like, sending you this shit. And it's like there's no way you could mentally and visually understand the, the the horror they're witnessing yeah you see what i'm saying like, exactly all you can do is is keep saying are they okay and then hopefully right hopefully they respond they respond and it's you like know? while it's morning here and it's night here you're stressing out because you can't go to sleep but then whatever's happening to them is happening like, hey it's gone oh it stopped yes yeah, and it's not glitching i don't i did absolutely nothing mm-hmm. jeff i didn't even open up the settings all right hey man hey, hey you willed it yeah you willed it. It, it happened because, because you wanted it to. So you nah, it was, that's it was, manifestation. It was uh, bugging me at its finest. It was bugging. No, no, no. Yeah, but the, the, that's the thing. And and like you said, like you didn't sleep the entire other day. And mm-hmm. um, this is a dear friend to to all of us. And it's like we want to make sure this person was okay. Um, so all you do is keep texting this person to right. see if they will respond right and um um it's just the bombs are getting closer and closer and right and, and that's the fear and um even to the point where we're like i i i get that you love the country but y- the people is the, pe- the people are the country the, pe- the people but are it's the, like yeah saying it is easier than exactly living there so yeah exactly. and i get that and i get that exactly so and, and it's not just um said person you have to be able to convince other the the your family that are you willing to leave right and, uh, and to resettle to, to resettle to, to go oh, somewhere it's glitching, it's glitching, yeah. that so you should just let me <laughs> follow through go through with the whole just go through just go through all right man just go through let me see and it's your camera right yes all right Let's see if you can bring down the frames not to what it was before where it was like but yeah man um no it's um it 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 is tough and and it's even if um some of americans are not there understanding what that pain is or any of that like a lot of people are struggling right so right no i feel that i feel that but uh yeah, that whole thing was happening, and because like even when, um, because I know Julie and and Jeffy are dealing with friends in the Middle East right now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And of course, there's other conflicts taking place like Ukraine and mm-hmm. stuff like that. That's still happening, you know. But it's it's tough to kind of spread yourself thin especially when things like that are happening yeah and you don't want to develop an attitude where it's like well there's nothing i can do whatever will be will be Mm -hmm. you know like there's still the idea of you know bringing awareness to shit that's happening you know i'm saying even though you can't physically do it Mm -hmm. you know if enough people know about it or talk about it like, then the message will get across right. yeah. as cliche cliche as cliche that so, yeah i mean even right. though even though we know the the higher powers that be that control the system is going to try to suppress or not want you to talk about it unless mm-hmm. you're like a like a huge name like hassan or i feel that or uh the the turk the turks or um but even he comes from like a media family yeah yeah or so. ben or ben shapiro or anybody like that like they will pay attention to them because you can't ignore them. Mm-hmm. But small fry like us, um, we just get suppressed in the algorithm. So it's like any any conversation or anything or any 
topic of trying to bring it up is is not going to help. What do you think is more? What do you think is more effective in influencing people online or in real life? <clears throat> well, if you do it in real life, you'll be considered the uh, like. If I influence an individual in person, mm -hmm. like a group of people in in person, versus I influence a group of people online, what which is more effective? Um. Online, you can spread the message faster, but in person, by actually showing them what's happening, might be able to. It won't. It won't spread as fast. The message won't get across the states or the world as as fast as you want it to get. Mm -hmm. Which is the benefits of doing it online. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it in person, it's gonna take a minute. So it's like anything can stop you. Anything can suppress you. Um, like unless, like I'll give you an example. Like um, there's a there's a um, youtuber or a tiktoker that goes around um not just pa but virginia and all these other states and they'll feed the homeless and they'll keep getting tickets because the state doesn't want them to do it and if right. he didn't record it right he, he literally says oh this is the 53rd ticket that we got and going online helped them spread the awareness because his views his view count was literally close to a million so doing that, people reshare it, people save it, people um, push back and all that stuff like that. So doing it online will definitely definitely get you the eyes that you need to spread the message of how bad the situation is. Um, so I think that's more effective than, than doing it in person. It helps, but it, it doesn't it, it won't reach audiences like you want it to. It's, it, it's how I look at it. I feel that. Yeah. So I think that's the biggest issue with um um doing it in person unless you're like a big influencer where people will line up to just listen to you because you speak like oprah or does oprah really speak no no, no i'm just giving you an example right i'm just giving you an example like if 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 a movie star or somebody great talks about it then the people who didn't care will pay attention you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. but if you're no offense if you're a nobody they're not going to pay attention to you at all they're not even going to care um what you have to say because you have no backing behind it i remember i um i was uh floating in a store last year at the beginning of the year and i basically um was telling certain people about the podcast i wanted to listen mm -hmm. and i was talking to one lady and she was telling me about or oh, how her daughter likes to listen to leisure and culture. So I'm like, okay, my brother and I kind of do that. We have interviews with other people. Let her know about it. And then she came back to me the next day, and I asked her, well, what did your daughter think? The daughter gave the most uh, NPC answer ever. Because we're not a somebody, she's not going to listen to us. And it is, and I said, it's all right. It is what it is. It's It's fine. But that's the thing. And that's the example I'm giving. If you're not a somebody, they're not going to listen. I feel it. So she'll sit there and listen that's real to life. Yeah, 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 for sure. She'll that's sit and then she'll sit there and I said, Well, what kind of things does she listen to? And and she's like, Well, the Kardashians and, and all that shit like that. And I said, Yeah, I, I get that. They're big influencers, of course. Right. So it's like things that um don't relate to them is what they want to listen to because I'm guessing that's their escapism mm -hmm. for it for but it's like things that people go through life every day that we talk about right that's what you think they would want to listen to but of course she, entertainment is a form of escapism of course I yeah and i get that and and, and, that. and it's like but it's like you're you're expert you're putting your reality onto their reality and thinking that you're going to get the same outcome that they have and and it doesn't work like that so that's that's kind of what she said but that's what that was that's basically my example to if you're not a somebody, they're not going to listen. We can tweet about it, text it, Instagram it, Facebook it all day. But if you if you don't have weight behind it, nobody cares. Well, doesn't that come back to what Judah said? Um, Jade? Jade. Community. Yes, yes. And community. it's like if you build a community. And that's why I always say, that's why I asked you the question. What do you think is more important, in person or real life? In person. I mean, or internet. It, and that's why I gave you two different answers. Mm -hmm. I said, internet will spread the message faster, it, but if, if you're somebody. Right. But in person, will definitely get the message across, but you'll be, there'll be obstacles that will suppress you. 
I feel that. In, in that sense. So, yeah, we can definitely get that message across. But the biggest issue is where you'll be suppressed by either cops telling you you can't protest here, uh, government saying this person is a terrorist there, this person says you're insurrection here. All the other, the, 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 the bullshit Everything. and jargon that you all always that, hear in, in, in today's society. But all that shit. Yeah, exactly. The whole thing. Because if it's not benefiting, if it's not benefiting the big pockets of America, then, of course, they're going to be the ones that try to stop you in, in trying to do what you do. So that's that's what I would say looking at it and, and or moving forward is that's basically what the society, um, that's basically what the higher ups would do if you're not somebody that is influential in it like i said if you're a name person and you're in you're protesting it people will listen but uh, again i agree with the mm. whole uh, but I, I agree with the whole community thing right if you be, if you build a big enough community then you can actually um create change right. let's say you talk about it you go to different colleges you'll be able to create a change a movement but if you're just tweeting about it or instagram or ig in it or facebooking it nothing's going to happen people will listen but they don't care because again like we had the conversation with our sisters if it's not affecting their life they're not going to care until right. it's too late right. you see what i'm saying yeah so i think that's how i think that's how like but i agree i agree uh the community will definitely help you spread that message far and wide and and understand and and like they said before um we didn't know with anything war um famine all that stuff like that we we as human beings didn't understand what's happening because nobody was recording it now we're in a digital age where gen z and and the young millennials are recording everything so you can't even lie about it without it being on social media like you like we were talking about perfect example the epstein list the day they yes yeah Did uh, that uh, motherfucker drop you what yeah, it, it, it dropped. Out. It dropped today, but but um, like um, like they were saying, like it's very controversial. But they'll probably not reveal anything. But what did you say when we were at mom's house today? You said <sighs> eventually, and I said it's eventually the 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 people that are replacing anonymous, the the group that leaks all the secret information. And you're like, no, eventually we will find out because this is the internet. Everybody always finds out. Okay, so, but where the fuck is this list? Though? They're not gonna put it up. That's crazy. It was released, but I'm they're seeing not hella put it up. memes and shit. Oh. But <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. They're not gonna put it up. They're not gonna put it up. That's how. Oh jeez, yeah. hold on. Let me look at media. Let me see if I can see this shit. That's crazy. Yeah. So, All I'm seeing is Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, 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 no. Michael Jackson wasn't on the list. <laughs> That's why they're meme. Don't say it like that, man. No, okay, all right, all right. Fuck that. Don't say it like but that. But it, it's it's in reference to okay. So one example would be the people who once accused Michael Jackson of being a PDF yes. are found are all found on Epstein's list except for Michael Jackson. Oh wow! Yeah. So wow. Yep. That's crazy. So does, does that include R. Kelly? I don't know. Come on, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> that motherfucker. That motherfucker right there did it. That's crazy. Yeah. So no, no, yeah. So that that's. Uh, that, but I I I agree with your um, with uh, your statement that you made. It's it's, it, yes, in person will help a lot, but unless you, you make it your life mission for people to be aware, you will be suppressed. You will be suppressed, and that is the issue. I feel that. So, but like, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But let's go back to that whole Epstein list shit. Though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, if the real list actually gets released, what's the fallout from here? Well, because we already know the obvious, right? Because mostly everyone who Ghislaine Maxwell listed in her deposition has already been outed so unless i guess they responded to the request to redact their names like i'm pretty sure we're just going to see the people who've already just been convicted well it's not even that it's how much are they do they have to pay to get their name off that list well it's too late the list has already been released well that's what i'm saying so it's like everybody that we are curious to see who was supposed to be on that list well here's the thing let me let me say this right so let's say you were on the list but it's been so long 
since you've participated in that. But your name is still on the list. Right. You, yeah. What if your life went so well after that you just forgot? This motherfucker's on there who probably forgot they was on that shit. Yeah, ain't that a motherfucker? Or or it's motherfuckers on that list who don't even know they're on that list. That list. There we go. That, hey, that let me say that. You gotta look at it. Let this me way. say that. Yeah. You visit yeah, the island yeah. you visit the island once, you on the list. Then you on the list. You, you the shitting list. bricks. But yep. that's the thing though. <laughs> How do you find out if you're on the what? list? <laughs> Who you call it? Oh uh, shit. Who you call what? it? <laughs> no, 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 like let's be real, right? Let's say the whole world knows everyone on that list is now a PDF. Right? Yeah. Who do you ask to verify if you're on that list? I don't know. Because two things got to happen. <laughs> What's got to happen, Jeff? You have to know you did some shit. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So now you have to reveal that, oh, man, I did some shit. Now I need to tell someone I did some shit so they can go check to see if I'm on the <laughs> list. I'm on the list. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. Now, whatever secret shit you had, someone has to know. Fuck. Right. You hey, see what I'm hey, saying? Good luck to them, man. Bruh. I don't know. The fallout them. from this shit's about to be. Good luck to them. That's going to be crazy. No, man. it is. I agree. That's going to be crazy. Did you hear that whole, uh, what was it? What's his name? Aaron Rodgers accused Jimmy Kimmel of being on the Yeah, list. I saw that. I saw that. That was crazy. <laughs> oh man, that, that was shit crazy. Week they invited up like the whole time. The whole. You know what's so funny too? When I was at the gym this morning. Oh, Snot Dog says statute of limitations. Oh no, I don't even mean like legally, like all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all that shit's been tried. I think the the fall guy for that was Galane and you know the whole Epstein. Yeah. Cover up, um, but I just mean like socially mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like you kind of now have this stain on your name oh yeah for sure for and, the... and then you don't even know what the fallout's gonna be too are they gonna <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck vic oh, literally shit. what's up vic hey what's going <laughs> how on, you vic? doing vic welcome vic glad you're in here brother yes sir yeah congratulations on the success of your uh dying light video by the way oh that was fire um but yeah yeah but like i said we don't even know what the fallout is going to be for them especially whether like you said um a lot of stars look at their reputation as their bread and butter so it's like if we find out that you're uh look at look at stars PDF. getting canceled for woke shit yes just for doing mm -hmm. woke shit well look it, it's like dave Chappelle again i haven't watched exactly. the new i haven't watched the new comedy special right. on netflix it's but, like on some both sides shit. I think this is the slaughter of Hollywood, right? Yes, yeah. Because one, you're about to get replaced with AI. That's why you're striked and signed away your literal face. Face. Yeah. Away. And that was, uh, what was the name of that show that we watched? Um, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Oh, yeah. yeah what, they, they Jane, predicted. Jane is an asshole or some <laughs> yeah. shit. Oh, they, they man. They predicted it. They predicted it. Dog. So, pretty much, this is just the fall the, of the cabal of Hollywood. Yeah, right? it wasn't so, it was an issue till so, Salma Hayek. So you got to see the dominoes. I'm about to dive in, in yeah. to this fucking conspiracy theory. Yeah. Quick. So you got to see the dominoes, right? So, you know, we already know AI is about to, you know, like pop off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So for we, sure. they need to essentially cut the baggage. First live I caught. Blasphemous Nugget. Yes, sir. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, brother. Oh, man. That's Glad to up. have you in. That's Glad to up. have you in. So, like, so, okay, so we know AI is on the horizon. Oh, we yeah, for sure. Look at that. We were watching a video on uh, <laughs> sex robots. Fuck, that's tough. That's fucking tough. We were watching Why? a video on sex robots. Why, man? They had the prices, too. What was it, like, 600 for just the fleshlight? No, version? it wasn't 600 That should start at, like, 1K. No, no, no. It was 600 for just the, the pocket pussy. That's and then crazy. it was 8000 if you want the whole that's crazy. the whole robot. It doesn't move. It's just, a, that's tough. it's just the facial features. But after but. we saw that whole moist critical <laughs> video like we need to oh we, that was fun yeah but that's what i was telling you because you're the, like for the like, legions no because i remember fucking... you're like why is humanity like this why can't they i said jeff you gotta understand it's easy for you and i to talk to women but not all men know how to talk to women so yes we can say it like that because we are not one of those because it's just another human like what the fuck 
Like that's crazy. A human, me. a human that's with another feelings and complications. Right. That's and, what I'm saying. Like if you understand how disgust. humans in like interact with humans, Plus just some, take that into account when you're speaking. It, it's not that easy to a woman. It's not dog. It's oh easy. word. <laughs> Smoke said 8K, bro. <laughs> He oh, said 8K. Oh, looked it up. <laughs> uh, no, that's actually what it was. Yeah, 8K. It was 8K, 8K for like... <laughs> for just the head and the mouth moving. And, but the crazy thing is, it was like uh, from Futurama where it's like, Marilyn Monroe Robot. <laughs> the Marilyn Monroe Robot. Philip J. Fry. I love you, Philip J. Fry. <laughs> 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 you right. All right, all right, all right. So go like, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We went off on a yeah, wild tangent. tangent. Yeah, So, All right, so AI is replacing... Hollywood. Yes, of you course. Know, they just essentially signed away their future. They just extended mm -hmm. their demise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Their careers. The, the end of their careers. No, I feel right. That. So, what's going to happen? So, now you want to... What the ro <laughs> what the robot do that right hand can? <laughs> That's what I said, bro. Mo moisturize me. That's what I said, bro. <laughs> This is tried oh, and true. This is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's your trusty side. That's literally your right hand man. Yeah. Like, what? Well, you know, I mean, I mean, you, you have your. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. You All right, we're about to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Let me finish this explanation, though. All right, Let go me ahead, finish go this ahead. explanation. Go ahead. All right. So now this whole Epstein list. Okay. Shit about to drop, mm -hmm. right? So what's the easiest way to get rid of. You know, okay, all right. So this plays into like now, motherfuckers is canceled. You remember when people were being canceled for for an, being anti woke, like Dave Chappelle? And yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Now yeah. motherfuckers is canceled. And they try. Well, yeah. If now you, if you being, talked about the LGBTQ, Q, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, all right, let go, me get to the point. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. But now motherfuckers is getting canceled for being too woke. What? Right? Yeah. yeah. Disney overcorrected. But look They're what's happening. Correct. But no, even Disney had to cancel their own freaking actress, Snow White. Yeah. Right? But it's not over. What happened with the interview with uh, the lady that's going to be directing the new Star Wars with the Ray movie? She literally said, I like to put the fear in men on the interview. That created a huge backlash. The movie hasn't even been in production yet. Right. So that's another issue. You're ostracizing 80% of the men that support your thing. And then when they don't, what are you going to say? Oh, it's because we're misogynists or we're woman haters. But that's not the point. I get that's it. That's not the point. I'm just letting you know. That's not the fucking point. <laughs> Let's get back to the fucking point, Jeff. Yeah. All right. Not I'm getting excited. Point. I'm getting excited. Go, right. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So now the entire whatever it was, this whole ideologue of... Either you're woke, anti-woke. It's eating itself a lot. Okay. Right? And that's literally 90%. The mouthpiece for that uh, 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 agenda for both of those mm -hmm. was Hollywood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I, I don't care what your ideology is mm -hmm. on it. I'm just telling you whatever that system was is failing. Mm -hmm. And whoever was essentially the, 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 I guess, the pockets, the big business that yeah. was paying... You know, the mouthpiece. They're losing too much money. They're losing too much money. Mm -hmm. So how do we cut them out? <laughs> right? Try to go back. Okay. <laughs> so how do we cut them out? We expose the list. Yeah. We start paying them less and have them sign away their... Their face. Their, fa their digital rights. Mm -hmm. Their digital identity. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And then at any time, they can be cut and replaced with a robot. Of course. You see what I'm saying? Because now they even have AI writing scripts and they and in replace of people. Right. So I see what you're saying. Right. You see what I'm saying? So like all this is just a culmination to just destroy uh uh for for Hollywood to mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this blasphemous? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that, Vic? That's big. Ah, they say, what is this blasphemous? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like it. I just feel like that was just a tangent, you know conspiracy theory where i'm just kind of seeing how hollywood is you're seeing the re the 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 um, you've seen the results of the all the, of that the labor the, yeah yeah the fruits of the labor basically. right you so see what i'm saying they thought oh. it was going to help by including being inclusive right but instead it it pushed back and it made them lose more money than anything right. else so i feel it i see what you're saying you see what i'm saying because like i always tell you i don't i don't really fuck with like left right ideology type nope. shit 
Because I feel like when you tie yourself down to a camp, like you, like you limit yourself, right? So, because if you don't agree with what that right. camp is is saying, it's like ah, right. oh, but that's you're that's fighting what, against your own humanity, exactly. So like you're self sabotaging, like, yeah. Because you're like, oh, I believe in the, I believe in this, and even though this person is a piece of shit, I don't right. agree with his ideologies, but I cannot not agree with it because that's what I believe in. Well, here's the thing: it's what? just an ideology is just what? framing. What? Ideology is framing. You could tie two ideologies. It's like, okay, communism, socialism. It's yeah. literally the same fucking rule. Oh, yeah, right? for sure. It's just <laughs> one is with, you know, force. Mm -hmm. The other one is through the will and of the incentivizing, you know, people to want to contribute yeah. to a bigger goal. You know no, I, mean? I feel it. So it's like, yeah, when it comes to shit like that, you can see the system essentially eating itself alive. Mm -hmm. Blasphemous Nugget. Any more Dying Light or Outlast vids coming? Hmm. Hey, Vic. I uh, he I think he released Dying Light too. He did Dying Light too. Yes, but he told me a video game was ass. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he said Dead Island Two is ass. <laughs> <laughs> how long did you wait for that, Vic? Yeah. How long did you wait? For they that waited there? what, like five, six years, ten years? Was it right? Uh, no, ten years. I think it was ten years. It was like I think it was released on 360 before it was on. Uh, the dead one. island yes they they like they showed the trailer <sighs> that's crazy a long time that's ago. that's crazy yeah fun. but then the game ended up now, i'll never forget ass. left for dead too yeah i used to play that motherfucker no that was good that I, was th good. there wasn't a story to that game was it no nah, yes there i don't was. know if anyone in the chat can answer that it was there a story to left for dead too i think there was because i just felt like um smoke says oh, okay all right smoke doing his thing smoke handling his his business in the chat gotcha. you know what i'm saying because like with left for dead 2 i don't know every single time i played it or co opt with someone i just felt like it was a series of getting to a checkpoint yeah like i didn't really well i think you had to finish the game in order to progress the story so there was chapters but if we did like uh co-op it right. wouldn't only oh let you us wouldn't well, no, it would only let you get as far as you unlocked in the single campaign. That's what I'm talking about. But the single campaign didn't really have a story. It was just like cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I think that's what I think that's what it was. But um, back to a regular scheduled program. Mm -hmm. Finish your story. Oh, on what the theory? The list, yeah. Oh, the FC list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Come on, nigga. You already forgot. We jumped in a box in a box in a box. Well, yeah. In a box. Holy shit. It's a whole Russian we're, doll. We're, we're, in this we're interacting with people. Right, 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 right. It's a whole <laughs> Russian doll in this motherfucker. Um, so, pretty much. Yeah, so what's the aftermath of this, right? So, like, now that these people have been outed, they've been exposed, like, what happens? Do we start seeing people getting thrown under the bus? I don't know, but the first thing that comes to my mind is, is this the next distraction to whatever it is? Oh, that they're just fuck. <laughs> I hate that shit, man. That's what I believe. I think this is the I next distraction. Because you got to understand, this ah. is a, you got to understand this is an election year. So it's like we're going to keep throwing curveballs to distract you from what we're really right. doing behind the scenes. How convenient, right? Yeah. January 4th, Epstein list. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something crazy that. always happens in January. A star always dies. Um, something major happens with government, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. of course it's always like during like an election year or going to be an election year, midterm election years. So it's like something's happening. What's going on? What you got? All right. So Vic says yes, sir. Currently editing part three and four. There will be more recording. Cool. Baby. And then he also said it's a three-hour game. <laughs> Most of it is free roam. <laughs> Highly in my feelings, and the story was ass cheeks, bro. That's literally. Everyone who is a gamer in the future, I hope you know there's no more campaign on it. Nah. Br uh, Everything's just going to be a fucking sandbox. And all you're going to do is just complete objectives with cutscenes. Vic's like, hey, yo, what the fuck? It's just going to be, you saw what they did to, what is it, Modern Warfare 3? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Trash. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. That, that, that thing literally only has, like, four real missions like, campaign missions yeah. everything else is sandbox complete objective <laughs> fuel up 20 buses <laughs> collect 18 magazines <laughs> <laughs> before what? five minutes on some stupid shit i hate that on some shopping list missions what, what else we got 
Uh, Look, they're on the on the chat. Oh, um, Vic says highly in my feelings, and the story was ass cheeks. Blasphemous gives us gives the look. Yeah. He also says bet. Sexual chocolate. What's going on, sexual chocolate? I fucking love it, man. Yeah. I was so hyped when I when I was reading their their uh usernames, uh-huh. bro. That was cool as shit. Yeah, that's what's I up. love that shit. No, but uh like I said, this year's an election year. They're already talking about uh crypto replacing the dollar they're already talking about epstein list it's like what is the big conundrum that they're going to be doing behind the scenes while they distract us with whatever there is Jeff, what is literally the only thing they always do power no no no, no. take away your freedom it's literally all done. the government's gonna take away your freedom they don't know what you're going to do U.S. virginity is at an all-time high. All-time high. <laughs> we are being replaced by sex robots because we cannot talk to women. America. <laughs> Sexual Chocolate says the Reaper army will thrive off old games. I feel it, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel it. See, that's why you got to save your old consoles. Yeah. And, and or Was your... it Best Buy's gone? Yeah. Best Buy's gone. Well, yeah. yeah. They Be- stopped selling all physical media. No, no, no. Best Buy is not gone. They just decided to stop, stop selling, selling physical, physical media. media. Then the meme started on Twitter where they were saying that it's all going to Amazon. So if you want your Blu-rays or your... <laughs> Best Buy did I just say, yeah, Amazon, y'all can have Yeah, if you want your <laughs> PlayStation 5 games physically and all that shit like that. Because essentially, <laughs> oh, like they said, you're man. not you're not, um, you're not, not really buying the game. You're just borrowing the IP. I feel that, right. You just... You just have a contract for whatever that. Exactly. You basically <laughs> signed a contract for life. So whenever you want to. It's an open source code to access a server. Exactly. <laughs> a thousand miles away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Once that bitch turned off. Yeah. Thanks for the so 60 th- bucks. But that's the thing too. They did a cur- the, they, um, They were courteous and decided to say, all right, for the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, we'll add the disc. But the next generation, there's not going to be any disc at all. It's just like all. It's just like um, cars. We had the cassette with the CD, then the cassette was gone, then it was the CD with the MP3, and then the CD's gone, now it's just the MP3, Word. and, and then um, Bluetooth um, connection. So it's like, they know what they're doing. Vic says, completely agree. Yeah. I feel the Vic. Yeah. So, but uh, that's that's uh, that's essentially the game plan. But what, do you, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that, man? Because, like I said, it's like, distraction. It's... Well, we will never know what the ultimate, like, I don't fucking know. Take over the world. Come on, Jeff. History is a flat circle, bro. We just lack the third perspective. We'll just say this. If you, you, the Florida will be the last defense. (laughs) So if, if you want to. I feel it. Right. We're (laughs) hoping into it. Like you only have one direction to come in. We Mm -hmm. got the whole fucking Mm -hmm. coast. Like that's why, that's why our state is shaped like a gun. (laughs) I'm dead. Or penis, Jeff. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> or, or. Yeah, no. So, but uh, no, I feel it, man. I feel it. But um, The Empire. Yeah. Just for you, Vic. Just for you, Vic. <laughs> where Florida is number one. Where we will shoot anyone yee that comes through. <laughs> yee yee. Yee <laughs> yee. <laughs> oh, shit. Now oh. we're definitely going to have Vic back on here, man. Oh, for sure. Yes, sir. For sure, for sure. But, um, but like, really, in, in all honesty... Mm-hmm. It's just, you you will never know, because there is no ultimate goal. It's just a, a series of, okay, how what how many ways can we limit your freedoms? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What can we manufacture to gain more control? Yeah. That's literally it. Like, there is no ultimate goal because no one on this planet is immortal. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you can't have the demon lord fucking plotting some shit. You know, and like how do you know it's not a high right castle now? type shit? I don't fucking know. They might be, cause I don't know how the fuck Jimmy Carter outlived his wife, bro. That's <laughs> crazy as fuck. Oh, That's man. crazy as fuck. Well, when you sell yourself to your soul to the devil, you fuck. know. And then we got the lich in the fucking Oval Office. Yeah, like, that's crazy, bro. I swear to God, man. Like I said, I'm ready to autopilot the next four years. Oh, depending on whoever. Wins, yeah, I feel like. Because I've been autopiloting the, the these I four years like. now. I'm gonna be autopiloting 2025 to 2029. Uh, no, 28, sir. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. 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 you're right because right. they go into office 29, the end is 28. 
You're right. Yeah, February is when they get inaugurated. So I'll be autopiloting. That's tough. Yeah, it is. You only got a four year break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the next week. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. Two years, because mm -hmm. right after, like, I think right after 2022, mm -hmm. like, everything just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that inflation came to. Yeah, and that's the collect. That's kind of the first thing that um that I was um that I saw this morning when I was um in the gym is that it said four things to look out for um cost of gas um housing go and, down or up? no up why no no, no the, the, it said what to look for inflation oh okay okay yeah okay. Yeah, yeah because um it, it's still going up and I and, and like we had this conversation before I get it I I get why these Gen Zs and millennials are no longer trying to get homes. They're okay with living with their parents. Like no one gives a shit anymore. If the if you're if you're if you're dating somebody and you're like, oh yeah, I still live with my mom and dad. They don't even give a shit anymore because they understand what the economy is and how right. difficult it is for right. a lot of people to to get where they need to get. So right. age at this point is not even a factor. It was a thing with the X and it was a thing with the old millennials. But now they don't give a shit. Whether you're at your home. Well, how do you get more control of people? You break them. Of course. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Literally just overload them with absolutely life-changing events until you break their will and they're just like, ah, fuck it. You know? Mm -hmm. Shit's going to happen. Shit's going to happen. What do I have? Exactly. What, 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 can, what can I own? All the debt was just passed down to right, me. Right, to me. For no so fucking you reason. <laughs> you tell me to go. You tell me to fucking go to school so I can live better. But if you're so not, I can be replaced by a bot. Exactly. <laughs> Let so, me rack up six <laughs> figures of debt so you can replace me with you code. Not. That's tough. And then the crazy thing is, one hundred, one hundred uh, thousand a year used to put you in the top five percent. Now, if you're not making one fifty to two hundred, you're poor. You're, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're part of the middle class. You're now. poor. You're not poor. <laughs> Stop. Don't say that. It's actual. It's real poor people out here. Yeah. No, I get it. It's but I'm saying you were considered the top one percent. Right. Not now. You're not even the top five percent. You see the 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 distribution the distribution of but wealth. Wait. I really don't care about money. the top five and the one percent. I don't give a fuck about their pockets. <laughs> fuck them. I, what? Under I understand that, but what I'm saying is, it's like it doesn't matter how hard or how high up the right. ladder you climb. It means shit because you're going to be like, oh yeah, I make six figures a year, and they're going to be like, bitch, that's not nothing. You ain't making shit. You might as well say you're making thirty five thousand a year. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, yo, in what comparison the fuck? to what? You feel me? Like in, in comparison to what? You see what I'm saying? Like, we set these uh, uh, brackets and mm -hmm. these standards on what the cost of living is. and mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't be looking at the cost of We should be looking at the standard of living. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, the standard of living is shit regardless of what the cost is. Well, yeah. If the, if, the, if, the, if the standard of living... Well, not the standard. If the cost of living goes down, then the standard, I think, will be fine. Because you'll be able to afford your groceries, you'll be able to afford to pay your bills, you'll be able to afford to move out, you'll be able to afford to play to pay your your college debt or whatever you want to say. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you bring down the inflation levels. I rather pay. <sighs> but do you think inflation is one to one to the uh, to the cost of living? It's just it's it's uh, not pay. one to one. That's egregious. Like, I, but do you think it's not it's one to really... one? It's playing it's playing catch up. That's all That's it right. is. Because yeah. You, you'll you'll go into the job and then they'll say, oh yeah, we'll pay you fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. Nobody can live off a of fucking fifteen dollars an hour. That's still crazy. You me. see what I I'm hear, saying? I hear fucking. That's crazy, I, bro. I went on Indeed the other day because you know, like I'm gonna start job hunting and shit. Yeah. And Alleged, I'm looking allegedly. at allegedly, allegedly, and I'm looking at a lot. Like, why are you even listing this on Indeed? Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy to me. Like a job that's paying. Twelve dollars and shit like that, like, because they still think that people are suckers and they'll work for that little. But then again, then again, most of those jobs, and do you think? Okay, I feel that. I feel that. I had to. I'm not gonna comment on it because I deconstructed <laughs> it in my brain and I realized how fucked up my way of thinking was, uh -huh. and what I was about to say. But I understand. I understand now. But yeah, man. Like honestly. That's that's insane. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, but what's gonna change that? We're already on a runaway train, like the monetary reset. And what does that even? 
I don't know. Me. Everybody's on one currency. You got to understand, like, that means Universal. you're absolving. Universal basic income. I mean, unless you you're got a solution. Absolving. Unless you got a, solu a different solution that will help humanity or at least people in the United States. I don't know. First of all, we're the empire. Why don't we just cancel our debt? <laughs> the fuck y'all? We ain't paying you Because back. we like money. <laughs> we and ain't nobody money. matters. Fuck it. You what are, are they going to do? Attack us? America. <laughs> okay, what's the final option? What, World War Three? Oh, again, no, Civil War Part Two. Because you... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like for real, for real. <laughs> Civil War Part Two. What? Okay, 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 okay. Come on, man. Like for real, for real, for real. All right, go. Right. I'm not even talking about internally, right? Uh huh. Like, how do you protect your your country's currency? Move out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Because America is is fucking with your life. No, 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 no. How do you how do you protect the value of your currency? <laughs> Evenly distribute the wealth. I'm <laughs> no motherfucker. You need guns. You need a military. That's the only thing. That's literally how you protect your budget. Jeff, we're about to hit $1 trillion in our military spending budget. Yeah, but that doesn't fucking matter. That's our money. I know. We could just make that shit up. I know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it it doesn't matter. Too. We're America. <laughs> we could just make that shit up. Yeah. So why don't we just wipe our debt? I don't, I don't know. Break ties with everyone. You know we give NATO almost all the fucking money, right? Well, isn't, um, isn't, don't, doesn't America owe Bell's bonds to Oh, owe, owe what? China. In 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 what? In what currency? In bonds. In what? In what currency? American dollars. In, in American dollars, yes. right? Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> our dollars, right? Wait for a dollar okay, crisis. Okay, guess what? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you <laughs> want us to pay you back in our money? What the fuck? That's why we pay them back in bonds. No, we could just be like, no. No, China. Bonds, bonds, bonds are basically like, oh. Wait, but we're talking about a reset, right? Yeah. Extreme measures, right? But that's not till 2030. No. Just be like, no. <laughs> Pull a sunny. Just be like, no. <laughs> no. How much do we owe you, China? All right, here. Let me write that motherfucker off. I owe you. Here you go. <laughs> Deposit that bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? What the oh, fuck? That's fucking nuts, No, man. like, be for real. We're already spending nearly a trillion dollars. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how much taxes we pay. It doesn't matter how much taxes. Like... We, we let's say we pay two trillion. We add five trillion to the debt, so it's That's like what blows my mind. Like they'll use our money to do all this dumb shit, but they can't cancel student debt or like. <laughs> no, they did. That's crazy. No, they. That's crazy. No, they did. That's then crazy they're like, to me. no, the, they, that's crazy. To me. No, they did. Then they're like, nah, <laughs> fuck it. We're gonna make you guys pay. Oh yeah, they reinstated mm -hmm. some people's student debt. That's yeah. fucked up because our, our sister was part of it too. They, they they deleted all her debt and then say, nah, we're going to make you pay it again. <laughs> that's so funny. Or else what? So half of them are saying, we're not paying it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just how about we just all collectively not pay that? Exactly. Shit? And that's what's happening because it's never going to end. Wait, and it's 8% interest every single day. You're literally throwing your money into a hole. Yep. It's not even an investment. Yep. Like, I'd rather not pay the government and invest my money. No, I agree. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy as hell to me. You could spend n n what eight billion, eight hundred billion. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be one trillion by like twenty thirty five. Yep. On guns and fucking lasers, and you could you could spend all this money to show me a million ways to kill a motherfucker. But it you can't erase the debt, right? But you can't spend this money to show me a million ways to save a motherfucker or educate a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Or make humanity. That's crazy better. to me. That blows my fucking mind, bro. That blows my motherfucking mind. And then it's like you're beholden to pay this debt that they're just writing them, you know, kicking the can down the road. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, someone's going to pay it. Or eventually someone's just going to, you know, usurp. Do, do you not realize that no matter what party takes office, a lot of them are trying to s consolidate or centralize a lot of the powers uh, or trying to stretch um the capabilities of what the president can do i believe it the executive branch can well do. remember the president's just a figurehead he's he's just big no but like think about it not even just what trump tried to do what biden's trying to do well biden well trump actually tried to 
get shit done. But what I'm saying is they're mostly the figurehead. They're the ones that take the brunt of whatever is going on. No, no, no. I understand Trump was trying to get shit done. Uh But I'm telling you, like, the, 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 the path in which he took was unilateral. Okay. He made the entire call and just... Signed an executive, Signed an executive order. order yeah. No one tallied up a bill. No. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. And that's literally what Biden tried to do. And it didn't work. And you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's not even just, oh, you know, what Trump did was bad and what Biden did was good. No, it's like every president that comes into office mm-hmm. tries to, you know, take a little mm-hmm. bit of, okay, what can I do? Mm-hmm. What sweeping change can I make? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to be like the next Teddy Roosevelt type shit. I got it. You know what I'm saying? But do you think the only reason why um, um, Trump was able to do more was because he wasn't um, he wasn't familiar with? Here's what. Okay, you know why it seems like Trump did more. What, what I'm saying is he, because he wasn't familiar with the system that the politicians already knew. Okay, let me break this down. I'm asking you a question. No, 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 and I'm gonna answer it to you with an explanation. Explanation. Okay. Okay. So. You know why it feels like Trump did a lot? Mm-hmm. That's because he was undoing what, all the what? bills that he tried to pass didn't pass. Gotcha. The, the, the work that he was doing was just undoing the previous eight years. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's harder as a president to pass a new law than it is to just revoke it. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially if... I think even in that time, the Supreme Court was pretty balanced as well, too. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's not even like they were... The the things they were blocking was when he tried to write a bill. Ah, you see okay, what I'm saying? okay. So it was just undoing what was already right, done. Cause, right, because for him to even... Form, like, when he signed an executive order to... What was it? Cuba. Because remember, Obama signed an executive order to be able to trade with Cuba. Then he came in and then he canceled that. That that or because remember Cuban security. No, no, no. To shut down the border and put people in refugee camps. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Normally, to do that, you make a bill. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that's something that has to go through the 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 system. Right. Yeah. And then you can sign that. Mm-hmm. But it's like you didn't set up any plan or infrastructure mm-hmm. to detain or you know to. All right, so we're going to stop the border. People are still coming. What happens next? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, how do you deal with that crisis? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's always a cause and effect to doing something. So, like, Biden tries to cancel all student debt, Mm -hmm. right? But there is no actual structure in place to, okay, what if there were people who bought that debt? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. People invested in that debt. What if this was sent to a collection agency mm-hmm. and, you know, da-da-da? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you verify all this debt has been cleared? You know, what what debt? Is it private debt? Mm-hmm. Private student loans? Is it government student loans? You see what I'm saying? Like, how... There was no... no you I see hear. what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Like, there is <clears throat> no structure into... Okay, I'm the president. What I say... Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My yeah. word is law. Sorry, that's not really how no, it works. No, that's not how it works. That's not really how it works. That's not how it works. You see what I'm saying? But more and more, like, prime example, I think the greatest thing, which is as crazy as it sounds. So, like, the fact that, uh, you know, the whole impeachment shit with Trump. Yep, blah, 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 yep, blah. yep. Right? That essentially extended the powers of what the president can do. Can do, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Because if you can get tried for something twice, you know, and be exonerated, Mm -hmm. like someone can follow your same rubric and bam, there it is. There it is. Yeah. You created the formula and now they're just going to follow it. It's there. I feel it. It's there. You see what I'm saying? If someone discovers a tax loophole and the government, you know, like. Can't do shit about it. Can't do shit about it. it. Because it's legal. Because it's legal. Mm-hmm. The only way you can do that is if you write a new law. And that's not going to be fucking easy. Nope. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, man. It is what it is. You know, that's... But I I honestly... I think that's that... I'd like to see where this goes. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, how far do the president's powers reach? 
You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we live in the empire. And the empire is still young. And I know people like to talk about, oh, man, it's the end of the fuck. No, the fuck it's not. Because nah, we're the only motherfuckers on this planet spending $800 billion on military. <laughs> on military. <laughs> it's the only reason That's why you can go to nuts. sleep at night and you don't hear missiles flying over your house. You yeah. don't hear none of that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I know we like to talk about, oh, you know, it's a failing nation. No, 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 no. The nation hasn't failed. What the ideals of the nation have failed. It's becoming something else. Else, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And it's not the people. Right. It's the government. Like, China is always going to be China, but it's just what was. Mm -hmm. It's always been called China. Yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Like, China has always been called China. It's just what was the function of the government in China at that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still going to be the United States of America because that shit's ingrained in the Constitution Dude. and, you know, all the the stars and stripes and da-da-da. Mm-hmm. It's just whatever the government is mm-hmm. at the time. Like, you think 600 years from now, this shit's going to be working? Nope. No. Come on, man. Nope. Come on, man. That's that's what an empire is. Yep. It, can, it consistently evolves. Right. You see what I'm saying? The foundation of the empire isn't going to change. No. It's just the ideologies, the laws, mm-hmm. the structure, the the judicial system, mm-hmm. the, the balance of powers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the types of leaders, you know, the types of people, the demographic. Yep. Like that is literally what the empire is, what we are supposed to represent. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, there's there will always be a conservative and a liberal ideology and that's fine yeah you always find conservatives in every single point of course in yeah time. no i agree with that you see what i'm saying and you always find liberals in every single point in time and i think that just keeps a medium balance mm-hmm. um but just because of the laws that exist in this country mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like amendment one second amendment mm-hmm. like that that allows like in the worst case scenario for us to protect ourselves. For us to protect ourselves. I feel it. And Florida would be the where you. You get what I'm saying. Regardless of what side of this conflict you are on. Yeah. Because of that foundational law, that uh, constitutional law. Yeah. Like, you are allowed to protect yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, let's say they're hunting you because you believe this. Yeah. Like, um, America has turned into this crazy dystopian, right? And now they're hunting you. But. In this entire process of you becoming um, um, persecuted Mm -hmm. and people of your ilk or your ideology Mm -hmm. become persecuted, no way in those steps will they ever revoke the Second Amendment. They can't. They can't. They can't. They can't. Never. You know what I'm saying? So even at the end of the day, if you become an enemy of the state. This is a democracy. Right. You have the right to. Yep. Right, and we must vote on whether you want right. to remove it or not. You can't just remove it because right. you, you, don't know want, you don't want the people to. That's why for to come me, at you. Um, like I'll I'll speak out for what I believe is right and what I believe is wrong. Mm-hmm. But like, if even in the worst case scenario, the ideas that I believe in, the ideals that I believe in, mm-hmm. don't come into fruition, and I become a victim of what I disagree with, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I can still. Defend myself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I can still no, I physically defend myself. I agree. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of countries, you, don't you can't. Have that. You, it, whatever, what, it, what they put, you're say a victim is, of the state. Yeah, whatever they say is. Right. You cannot do anything about it. Right. Mm-hmm. You're a victim of the state. You know? And hey, man. Whatever happens. 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 That's why I said I'm. I'm curious to see what's gonna. We're only on day four of the January, so and we still got uh, eleven more months to go to see what's gonna happen in uh, 2024. But it's gonna be a very interesting year. It really is. Um, what do we got? Oh, see, so Jimmy says student debt is America's number one asset. Exactly. Yeah. You can't just cancel that, motherfucker. Yeah. That's why it pissed off a lot of people. Well, that's why when it happened, what did they do? They brought it right mm-hmm. back. Yeah, the Supreme Court blocked it. Yeah. Or uh, state Supreme Courts blocked mm-hmm. it. They're like, get the fuck out Even of here. Even though all the colleges already get their money yeah. out of it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The colleges are like, get the fuck out of here. The colleges have lobbyists. Yeah. Come on, man. No, I agree. You can't do that. Like, mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Like, If everyone has an investment in something, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, If you just start from zero, fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, handle the shit that's happening here. 
and just be like, all right, everyone outside, fuck it. Yeah. You know, because we're already, you can already see it. We're all regressing away from globalization. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like. In what sense? In terms of we're consolidating a lot of our economies. We're detaching ourselves from other countries' economies and vice versa. Mm -hmm. You literally have bricks. You literally have crypto. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You, like, you literally have people putting, tar countries putting tariffs, you know, on, on. Then why try to help? Why well, try to help so many countries with uh, certain things? It doesn't necessarily have to be war, but um, like, because cause we always say this, every time America sticks their nose in a country they don't belong, they end up making the situation worse. Like uh, Haiti, for example. Um, well, see, I wouldn't say stick their nose when you're the manufacturer. Okay. See you see what I'm see. saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the king of the empire, and I have a map right mm -hmm. and this is the most layman ex uh, 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 explanation i can give okay this is not how it happens mm -hmm. but i'm the king of the empire mm -hmm. and i have a map and i look for countries that you know like i believe essentially have a resource that i need mm -hmm. um and have the ability to be not only manipulated but exploited okay you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, because I'm already in this high tower of, I already know what's happening in your country more than you know you what's happening yeah. in your country. I can move the pieces in a way where I can tell your neighboring country, hey, they've been planning something against you. You should probably be weary of them mm -hmm. or start taking arms or start mobilizing. Or be on your toes. Or be on your toes. something's going to happen. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So I could use one of my neighboring allies as a pretext okay. or a proxy to agitate the neighboring country. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But because that's my ally, I can now be like, hey, I'm here to defend my ally against this rogue nation. But I've had my eyes on that rogue nation. I just needed a pretext. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Okay. This rogue nation is infringing on my ally. Mm-hmm. I will now supply my ally with weapons. The tools that so they now need. I'm making money. Yep. So I just manufactured a machine now. I just started up a new factory. You what? Conflict. Right? That's the goal, essentially. So what's the number one intelligence in the world? FBI, CIA, Interpol, mm -hmm. MI6. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And America owns 90% of that information. Oh, yeah, I believe that. You see what I'm saying? So, if we're coming to you and telling you, hey, this is da-da-da, mm -hmm. you're more inclined to believe us. Mm -hmm. You know, so we already got that down pat. You know, we can manufacture fake so shit. So, it's for, easy. It's easy. It's easy. Gotcha. Especially in a smaller country. I'm not saying they're stupid. They're not dumb. It's just we see the whole picture. So, so we can control the so outcome. So we can control the narrative. We can control the outcome. Gotcha. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even like, oh, America's, you know, uh, putting their nose in politics. No. All that's been manufactured from the jump. Mm -hmm. Do you know why these people are protesting in the streets? Because we influence. Because we influence. There you go. Best example. Fucking, what's his name? Gaddafi. Mm -hmm. Installed him in. And then he decided, oh, shit, I want to do socialism and we're going to back our money by gold. America was like, nope, no, you're not. Fuck this shit up. And that's where they're on now. Destabilize his entire economy, economy yeah. turned his people against him, accused him of war crimes and, and human rights violations and shit like that got the people to rise up against him and they executed him in the street that's nuts right this it, ain't new like you said control the narrative yeah this ain't it's new it's just now everything is is publicized and, and, and uh, recorded right but that's the thing right especially when you when you lie you have to tell the truth when you lie mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying you can't like you get what I'm saying cause if you, you I think it goes back to what Jimmy was talking about manifestation mm-hmm 
Like when you lie, you're manifesting that lie. That lie. To make it come true. To make it come true. Once yeah. you speak it out there, right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like even now, a lot of people can see what America's doing because they're doing it out in the open, mm -hmm. but they have plausible deniability because it's just a, a smoke screen, like behind laws and bills and jargon and the media and yeah. framing and shit like that and how they deliver it to you mm -hmm. and what individuals they're using to send you that send you that that message the pawn right you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's just like i don't know man i don't know i feel it i feel it. everything is bigger than what you think it is oh yeah right. it's bigger than what you like it's like okay america's always putting their america's the world's police yeah the, yeah they, but america isn't the world's police they're the world's fucking like power right the baby country is the world's power right the one with barely any history it's not like we're going in to save these people no, no. we manufactured that to control the outcome right i feel it that's what we want that's the outcome we want yeah you know like come on man everyone always need, and and you know every country ends up following that playbook pretext yeah. we just need a pretext oh man some rogue person did da 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 gotta take them out and they represent this entire fucking country yep <laughs> this one motherfucker <laughs> gotta take them out now we gotta blow everything up that's crazy that's crazy what we at uh we're at 106 sir mm -hmm. we're at 106 but yeah man i don't know i i know it's still the beginning of the year so like all of this is just like yeah it's all theory we, and shit. we might come back in six months and, and, and say something different so i feel that but i feel it man i feel that you got any final thoughts do i have any final thoughts um uh do i have any final thoughts oh wow thank you laptop you saved my camera wow do I have any no sir no sir all right you want to take us home yeah we'll take uh we'll uh yeah we're gonna take uh, i'm gonna take you guys home so i'm gonna take us home i'm gonna take so you home you got your keys bro i got my keys jingle shotgun jingle jingle, jingle, jingle. Shotgun. <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna take oh just to give you guys a heads up i know they're gonna be getting real google podcast soon so i'll probably stop saying that that's oh google podcast yeah because nobody really goes on there plus it's going into youtube because remember YouTube. I don't know why they did that. It's the whole same thing they did with the Play Music. Yeah. That was weird. The Google Play and then they YouTube. And then they did YouTube Music and then just yeah. deleted. Well, now that's what they're doing since you can since you can now do YouTube. Um, they full of shit. That's a cash grab. Bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. I agree. Yes, sir. Good night, brother. Snot dog. Yeah, appreciate yeah. you stopping by, thank man. You. I appreciate you thank joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We love to see y'all faces. I love yeah. to see y'all names in here, bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I love y'all names. Thank man. you. Thank you. But, um, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it will take you directly to the episodes. And, of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like subscribe ring the notification bell and of course leave us a comment again guys thank you again for joining us at the tabletop you have a good night weekend evening and day and we'll see you on tuesday see ya see ya